Erika means Universal Renewable Energy Certificate Accreditor. And also it's Eureka, you know? We build technologies to restore trust in the carbon markets, as well as build technology-based. By technology, I mean AI, blockchain-based verification systems for emission reduction projects around the world. Building a fully transparent, fully automated uh, system, which is driven by a blockchain and also some machine learning algorithms, we can really build the trust on the carbon market in which we can bring more private sector involvement to invest in this sort of projects. And also individuals can go through our platform in which they can purchase carbon credit to offset their emissions. Our vision is to build these plug and play systems where any carbon project in the world can use our verification system. Let's say we build a large-scale wind power plant in China or some developing countries. And then usually someone comes in every year, look at the wind power plants, whether that power plant is still there. They take a written down note how much power it generated. And then it was become this one document in which we rely on CO2 emission reduction. And it's pretty costly. Usually people fly from a different countries. The way we are changing that is one, we want to make it fully automated. And then we write down in a transaction on a blockchain. So we want to back up that claim with the primary observation that the, the impact that it's delivering on the ground is can be tracked. If we can bring in technology and climate financing, carbon financing, and with power of machine learning, blockchain, we believe we can transform lives. Before, there was no technology or methodology in which allow household level verification and monitoring. So usually the way it used to done is, let's say I have a fuel switch project. I changed my cook stove with something more efficient so I can claim a CO2 reduction on that project. Now with our IoT sensor, every household, every five minutes, with the data collection process, we can uh, monitor if one household burn any coal, two, how much renewable energy they use and produce, etc. The carbon credit generated by this household can be shared with the household as an income to them. The sale of carbon credits goes back to the household and then they can actually benefit from having a better behavior in terms of uh, transitioning into renewable energy. We will be able to just from Mongolia, reduce three to five million tons of emission. Staying warm at minus 40 is a big challenge, right? So what happens is basically we insulate their yurts, we put small three to four kilowatt solar systems, battery pack, electric heat storage, and we put in our sensors. These families will be able to start having their emission reduction for not burning coal have have their emission reduction uh, verified continuously. Through technology, they will be able to finance their fuel switch because it's, it's not that cheap, right? And I think climate financing could be a very really powerful tool in terms of making the low-income families transition to renewable energy. Where blockchain comes in is we want to restore trust. We want to make this whole process fully autonomous, end-to-end, -end, so there's no meddling in between. And if we can achieve that, and then if we can scale, the project to 100,000, 200,000 families, I think the impact is going to be massive. The reason I really like Algorand blockchain is because that there's a huge community there. The technology, the libraries are easy to use. The transaction speed is extremely fast compared to other blockchains, you know. When it came to blockchain choice, our guy, CDO, chief science officer, he said, if we don't choose Algorand, I'm, I'm, I'm walking out. So we, we had to build an Algorand. But jokes aside, I think the more I get to know Algorand, it's a blockchain that I at least personally feel that it's a blockchain that has impact at the core.